will not be interested in what is wrong and what is right. We are here as an expert group dedicated to finding facts about the situation for the parties interested to solve them. We are not here to solve issues, we are not here to, to make judgments, and we do not have any political judgments on anything uh, at this, uh, during this, this meeting and in this forum. This forum is completely non-political. We don't discuss political issues. So, um, having said this, I would like that due to some government business, His Excellency the Minister will, uh, will be coming later. He is uh, coming, but uh, he, he, wanted, uh, some, he wanted to attend some, some important uh, governmental business before, so we changed the program that he will speak when he arrives. Anyway, our focus and uh, major uh, uh, interest in this meeting is to listen to a good friend, a great friend, for a long time, His Excellency Abdullah Dardari. I have known him as a minister and as deputy minister. I have known him as a, as a brilliant economist an international uh, personality with a long career, success, successful career in international and governmental and uh, uh, public uh, service. So I am very proud and very grateful to His Excellency for making the time. He has come specially for this meeting and uh, I will not, there is nothing better than, than starting this morning with, with His Excellency. After his presentation, we have two, uh, three excellent speakers that will be making comments. The objective of this meeting today, this is a, an, a group of experts that we want, we invited, we called you to seek your input on a document which has been just produced last night uh, on the terms of reference of what we would like to be producing for the, in, in, in order, in the service of, and for the benefit of international organizations and governments. We want to present facts that can be useful and some suggested solutions. We look at the Syrian displaced issues, whether within or outside anywhere, as not just a humanitarian, but as also a socio-economic issue. And this socio-economic issues needs proper proper handling for the sake of the Syrians and for the sake of the host countries. So the intention here is to try to propose solutions in addition, some sample solutions which we have created or thought of, they could be completely wrong, they could be constructive and the intention of this meeting after we have the presentations, after the coffee break we will spend the rest of the morning in discussion and in listening to your remarks and criticisms and objections or positive uh, support for what is in this report. We are very open. This is, this is just a study. We are a group of experts, like also our firm, who produced this study, Talal Abu Ghazali Consulting, a firm specialized in consulting and in strategic studies. So this is only a, a study and a study that it hopes to be empirical, it hopes to be objective, it hopes to be constructive. And uh, the, the, inter, the, the subject is for us here to come up with some results. I hope to invite you maybe in a week's time to another study which uh, we would like to share with uh, USAID. USAID are undertaking another study on their own I know that uh, they have uh, tremendous resources and expertise and in, the, in the field, so maybe uh, if, if USAID so agrees, I would be very interested in holding another ex group of expert meeting to review the, the conclusions of USAID on the same issue. So this is a study process. This is not in a, a, a negotiation place. This is not a, 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 a political discussion group. We are just trying to find what the real hard facts are 
and to present them to the decision makers who have the problem to deal with them, not us. Uh, this report will be sent to all interested parties. This has just come out this morning. It's not been circulated yet. It will be circulated to all interested governments. And when I say interested government, that's a long range a number of governments. It will be sent to international organizations and it will be sent, of course, most and above all to the Syrian government, who is uh, very much the, the owner of this problem and of this issue and with whom we deal uh, on, a, on a very clear and uh, constructed basis. Uh, Syria is a member of the Arab world, is a member of the uh, community. Syria is a major country in the region and we, uh, we will be dealing with Syria just like we deal with any other state. I, I would like to make this very clear that we, we have no bias, we have no, we have no prohibitions. Everybody to us is at, at uh, equal arm's length. Now having said that, I invite uh, His Excellency Dr. Dardari to make his presentation. And thank you again for, for giving us this, your valuable time and expertise. Thank you, sir. But I will I will talk from here, and if you don't mind, I am not going to have a PowerPoint presentation. It's okay with you. Uh, I have it, and I will. It, we can you can distribute it, but uh, I think the nature of this meeting uh, merits a more discussion-like uh, presentation rather than a PowerPoint one. But uh, the presentation is available. Uh, first of all. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be uh, associated with this uh, project, working with Talal Abu Ghazali as an individual and as a group is a pleasure and a learning experience. Uh, it has been the case for me since we first met when I was uh, in the Syrian government years ago now and currently as the chief economist of uh, ESQA, the United Nations Regional Commission for the Arab Region. Uh, I am also uh, uh, thrilled by the opportunity of resuming this uh, cooperation. Let me start by what may sound as a political statement, but it isn't. It's in the spirit of the technical aspect of this meeting to say that the success of any peace... We all know you, Simone. Uh, we are lucky to have Her Excellency next to me. Uh, the success of any peace process in Syria will hinge dramatically on the question of refugees and internally displaced people. The dignifying, honorable, and secure return of the IDPs and the refugees is the sign of successful peace or failure of peace in Syria. Without the full repatriation, uh, as I said, in a dignifying and honorable and safe manner, we cannot say that there is a successful peace process in Syria. So what we are talking about is the essential issue, not an auxiliary or a secondary issue in Syria. This, having looked through the activities proposed in this study, uh, I have to say that it fills a gap uh, that exists today. And it's essential that we fill these gaps and understand and have a much better understanding of the situation of the IDPs and the refugees. What we suggest is to look at the question of Syrian repatriation in four phases. Phase one is to assess the efficiency, the effectiveness, uh, and the success of the current humanitarian program offered to Syrian IDPs and refugees. My colleagues in the UN system UNHCR, WFP, everybody are doing tremendous efforts, but within limited financial resources, that shortfall of the needs.